Hello, and welcome back to us bubbling a Zimbro. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at a hierarchy, editable hierarchy in a list. So let's go to the examples. So this is all what's new in Zim 014 right here. There's been other bubblings as well. <laughs> Blubblings, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Blabberings. Uh, so right here is an editable hierarchy and hierarchies are quite complicated. That's a pull down list that opens up. So Ontario and Hamilton, for instance. So there's our hierarchy, but previously we had no way to insert anything in here. We would have had to basically remake the list and the hierarchy and it was a little complicated. So uh, here we now have ways to insert before and after, replace and remove as well. So we'll go into Dundas here and I'll add Binbrook. Binbrook. How do you spell Binbrook? I think that's it. <laughs> Great. And let's go after Dundas. And there we go. So now Dundas is here with Binbrook after. We can remove that. So that just removed it again. And this time we'll put it before. Uh, oh, that I had Hamilton picked. So it um, now moved it to up before Hamilton. Okay, so that can work at any of these levels as well. And you can remove any various levels. So uh, that's wonderful. Let's take a quick look at the code and see how that's done. Okay, so here it is. And we're bringing in Zim 014 right there. We have the hierarchy data, and this has been around for a while as an example of the hierarchy list. So if you go to the docs under list, you'll see this under the accordion um, uh, section. So there it is. And then down below, we're making our list. There's our new list. And we've got a text input. Great. And we're tiling. Uh, this is the interface that we're tiling here, so a label and the, the input, which is the text input, a tile that has some buttons. So in other words, we're tiling the label, the, the text input, these buttons right here, and the selection. So this is the interface, and then on the right-hand side is the tile. So this tile is the interface. This list is the list on the right-hand side. And then our buttons. So when we tap on the first button, it goes runs before. When we tap on after, it runs after. Replace, runs, replace, remove, runs, remove. And down below we have the functions that we're, that we're doing in each case. So we still have a little bit of work to do in that it's, as a mes message saying here, it's just too complicated to update a tile from within the tile. There's just all sorts of things there. So we, we do still have to dispose, but at least we can now insert into our existing data. We don't have to remake that existing data and try and figure out how to do that. So the existing data is available at the list tree property, and that rep that's the hierarchy. So there's a, a hierarchy class, a Zim hierarchy class that the, the um, that is being used for the list. Uh, it's it's created when you pass in the data. So when you pass in this hierarchy hierarchical data to the list, it will make a tree. You can also make a new hierarchy of this and pass that into the list as well. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Down below here, this is how we were inserting before then. We are, where was that? Oh yeah, we had this stuff. So we're finding out the number uh, that the accordion's at. So we need to know what number we're at and that gets that. I'm capitalizing whatever's in the input that you, we don't have to, but just uh, did it anyway. And then we're using the insert before method. So that's the new method on the hierarchy to insert that text before the ID number. So just watch out. When you're using insert before, we're supposed to use the, the word ID and then a num. Uh, so we're pulling the number. This is an index number, so just a number. But when we're inserting, it's before and ID like that. OK, the after is very similar. We're finding out what ID we're on. And then inserting it after. We dispose the list, make the new list, and open it up at the proper number. Ah, I forgot that other part. So each time when we do an insert to the data, we dispose the list, we remake the list from the new data. So you see how we said, hey, data is equal to that old data, uh, but we're, we've inserted into that old data, and now we're making the new list from that old data. If we want to replace, same kind of deal, uh, we're using the replace item. And then to remove, same deal as well. 
Okay, so it's kind of the same in there. It's just to change the list from the inside is very difficult. For you to change it from the outside, it's not too bad. You dispose and make it again. Um, if we were to change it from the inside, uh, we can't just dispose the list. The list is a window, all this kind of stuff. We, we would have to remove all of those items and uh, put, put more items back in place. And that's harder than just disposing and, and remaking. It seems like we could dispose and remake just fine, but then your reference, your variable reference to that list would no longer be the same list as it was before. So we can't from the inside dispose something and still give you the same object in the variable. So uh, hence the little workaround, but that's not too bad. Uh, at least it can be done, otherwise very complicated. This is like two days of solid, weird programming to get that stuff to work in there. Very complicated, the hierarchy um, stuff. Okay, <laughs> that was a blabber. Welcome to Zim Blabbering. All right, where do, where do I find that thing? So you're, where is the Zim site? Let's head on back to that. There it is. Okay, so this is that stuff. That's great that that's available to us now. And here's back on Zim. Come visit us at Discord or Slack right up here. And we look forward to hearing from you. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> there we go. When's bubbling a Zim? I'm Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. Yeah, now cheers. <laughs>